Okay, so we got SRSO4. Okay, so we see that 1 SR is equal negative 2. No, to positive SO4. 2. Positive 2. Yes, very important to note. SR is a positive 2. Okay? We have only one of those. So the SO4, because it's a one to one, the SO4 has to have a charge of what? Huh? What what does the SO4 have a charge of? Um negative four. No. You look at the strontium, it has a two plus and there's no extra charges, so it has to be SO4 two negative. It's um. gonna be two negative. Like if we think of it this way, so strontium, there's one, we know that the charge is two plus. So that means that overall we have two plus right there. For SO4, we know that there's one. We're trying to figure out the, what the charge is, and we know it has to equal two minus to cancel out. Why, why that. minus? Because yeah. you have S versus S. S has a negative six. But the thing is that this is a polyatomic ion. Uh -huh. Okay? In reality, I could draw it like this. This is what it looks like S, double bonded to an O double bonded to an O, single bonded to an O right there, and single bonded to an O right there, and we have a negative charge right there, negative charge right there. So overall, this thing has a charge of two negative. That's what this polyatomic ion actually looks like. Mm -hmm. See how it doesn't obey the octet rule? Mm -hmm. Actually has ten bonds. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. So overall, we know it has to have a charge of 2 minus to cancel out the 2 plus that we see right there. Like, you don't, need, you don't need to know the shape of this. I mean, it does help to, um, to predict, like, what the charge is later on, but, mm -hmm. yeah, don't worry about it too much. Just remember that these have to cancel out and equal 0. They have to neutralize each other. So would it be SO negative? Four negative over negative two. It'd and be negative two. And then SR two. Yep, two plus. Okay. So it's melting point on this one for me. Okay. Um, I have to rank it from highest to lowest based on the ion charges. Okay, what do we got? MgO. Okay, we got MgO. MgF two. MgF two. And NaF. And NaF. Okay, so let's take a look at the charges. MgO, what do we got? We got Mg and O. Mg is a what? It is a metal. Metal? And what's its charge? Two plus. Two plus. What about oxygen? Oh, is it two negative? Two minus. Okay, what about MgF? So we have Mg again, so it's going to be a two plus. F and an F, negative. we got minus. Okay, and then we got an NaF. Plus, and then F is a one negative. Okay, there we go. So we see that we got a two and a two, a two and a one, and a one and a one. So the more ion charge it has, the harder it's going to be to melt it. The yeah, melt just kind of think about it as hands, okay? Like here, here you're just holding on to one person with one hand, and he's holding on to you with one hand. Here, you're holding on to two people one hand each. Here, you're holding on to the same person with both hands. Which one's stronger? This one's stronger. This one's slightly stronger because this guy, he's like using both hands. He's not like pulled towards one side more. He's like, you know, he's perfectly balanced. This guy, he's kind of off center. Yeah. So this guy is actually going to be the first one to, to be pulled apart out of all these. Even though he... So that's that at the same time, he's going to rely. Melting. He's going to need a lot more energy. It works the same for boiling too. It's just mm -hmm. heat to bring it apart. So which one is the strongest? Why? Because, oh, because it has two negatives. Or it's it? a two and a two. Just think of it, it like has more two ion hands. Charge than the others. The lower the ion charge, like if mm -hmm. it just has one and one, it's not going to hold on as strong. It's more to break. Mm -hmm. The way I think about it, and the more ion charge you have, the more connectivity, you have an attraction going on, right? Yep. 
So these ones like are holding on to each a, other. You had a MS two though. Is this what you have the negative over there? Yep. Oh yeah, we got tab. Like you, you have two F F two for. I got like that. There we go. So this is like a person holding with one arm over here to one person with one hand. And here's one person holding with one arm over here in one hand. Okay? So he's still holding them with one hand, so it's not as strong, but he's slightly more balanced than this guy, which is just holding on to this guy with one hand. Oh. So this guy is stronger than this guy. 